This is MSJ Chem, and in this video I'll be looking at complex ions. That's the structure and bonding in complex ions, the shape and coordination number of complex ions, and finally I'll be looking at ligands, including polydentate ligands. So let's start with the structure of complex ions. Transition elements form complex ions in solution. The high charge density of the metal ion attracts molecules with lone pairs of electrons which form coordinate bonds with the central metal ion. So here's an example of a complex ion. This is called the hexa aqua ion 3 ion. Here we have the formula for this complex ion. Complex ions consist of a central metal ion, in this example the Fe3 plus ion, which you can see in the middle here. The water molecules around the central metal ion, they are known as ligands. They use their lone pairs of electrons to form a coordinate covalent bond to the central metal ion. The arrows represent the coordinate covalent bond between the ligand and the central metal ion. The square brackets show that this is a complex ion, and the charge on the complex ion is usually written outside the square brackets. In this case, it's 3 plus. Next we look at coordination number and shape. The coordination number is the number of coordinate bonds from the ligands to the central metal ion. Here's another example of a complex ion. This is the hexacyanoferrate 3 ion. The oxidation state of the ion is plus 3, the coordination number is 6 because there are 6 coordinate bonds formed with a central metal ion and the shape is octahedral. Here's another example of a complex ion. This is the tetrachlorocuprate 2 ion. The oxidation state of the copper is plus 2. The coordination number is 4 because there are 4 coordinate bonds to the central metal ion and the shape is tetrahedral. And here's our final example. This is the diamine silver 1 ion. The oxidation state of the silver is plus 1. The coordination number is 2 because there are two coordinate bonds formed with the central metal ion and the shape is linear. Next we look at ligands. Ligands are species with lone pairs of electrons that form coordinate bonds with a central metal ion. Common examples include H2O, which is water, the cyanide ion, the chloride ion, ammonia and carbon monoxide. Ligands use their lone pairs of electrons to form coordinate covalent bonds and that's where both the bonding electrons in the bond come from the same atom. Ligands can also be classed as Lewis bases. That's because they donate their lone pairs of electrons to the central metal ion which is classed as the Lewis acid. Next we'll have a look at polydentate ligands and the definition of a polydentate ligand is a species that has more than one lone pair of electrons to form a coordinate bond to a metal ion. The EDT4 negative ion is an example of a polydentate ligand that has six lone pairs of electrons, so it's classified as a hexadentate ligand. Here you have a structure of a complex ion with a central metal ion that's surrounded by the EDTA4 negative ion and as you can see it occupies all the octahedral sites of the central metal ion, giving it a coordination number of 6. It grips the central metal ion in a 6 pronged claw called a chelate. EDTA4 negative acts as a food additive by removing metal ions from solution, therefore inhibiting enzyme catalyzed reactions.